morning, Steve here in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, kind of a mixed trade overnight with beans trying to be a little bit higher with corn and wheat a little bit lower. Outside markets are also mixed. Uh, we're still kind of waiting in the grain markets for any news about potentially new China uh, buying of U.S. soybeans and corn. Um, Wednesdays are usually days in which we talk about maybe future ethanol production in stocks here in the United States, but because of the holidays, we got a lot of data out, which showed uh, the U.S. corn and soybean crop ratings down one percentage percent uh, from last week. Um, we also noted that harvest is about uh, 41 percent done um, in the U.S. for corn versus uh, 25 last week and 20 last year. Beans are 59 percent versus 38 uh, last week and 23 last year. Um, there's kind of a mixed bag as far as yields are concerned. Some people are, farmers are getting into some um, corn and beans that were uh, maturing during the dry August time frame, and those yields might be just a little bit below what they were hoping for. Uh, overall, though, I think that uh, most people are finding out yields uh, pretty similar to what the USDA said in their October crop report. The big question is uh, some of these low guesstimates of uh, where our 2021 corn and soybean carryout is. Um, some people are as low as 170 million bushels in the beans and as low as 1,850 million bushels in the corn. Those are real tight supplies. And so uh, the big difference, I think, is mostly on the export side. Some people think that USDA might be too low in their corn and soybean export numbers. And so um, that could offer some support underneath the market. There's still a lot of people that believe that we're in a 10-10, 10-80 nearby soybean futures chart uh, trading range, maybe 370 to 405, 410 in, in the nearby corn market. Cash uh, domestically, corn basis remains firm. Um, not a lot of farmers selling um, around the globe. As far as weather is concerned, there's increased chances of rains in Brazil and eastern Argentina. Uh, there's also maybe one shot of some light showers in, in Russia. Still uh, no rain forecasted for the U.S. Southern Plains, although one of the maps suggests uh, at least the eastern half of the Southern Plains might get some shower activity. Um, as far as Brazil is concerned, this could be a change in their weather to maybe normal rains. Still looking, though, at some dry conditions uh, in Argentina, in Russia, and also the U.S. Southern Plains. And we'll see how that plays out down the road as far as production is concerned. And uh, well, it's just time to be watching the outside markets as we get closer to the U.S. elections. Uh, any updates on the coronavirus and the impact that it might have on um, the economy globally. And obviously we'll uh, be watching weather, especially in South America. So kind of a choppy trade. Um, we're establishing, I think, a trading range. And uh, we'll just be keeping our eyes on the headlines because a large percentage of our daily trade movement is done by the algorithm machines that only trade headlines with no human intervention. So again, uh, looking for a choppy trade. Um, and we hope that everyone um, has a safe and um, meaningful day. Uh, these are my thoughts and not those of uh, ADM Radio Investor Services. And I uh, hope you have a profitable trading day. And uh, remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.